138 of the UK's best amateur golfers start the day, with only 10 going through to the grand final. The Lancashire leg of the William Hunt Trilby Tour, played this week at Worsley Park Marriott Hotel and Country Club, is a test of nerve and skill, where the finest of the UK amateur golfing world compete to be crowned the best. With TV cameras broadcasting your every move to over 2.5 million viewers, this is not for the faint-hearted. Imagine the added pressure for 20-year-old Luke Benyon from Worsley, who only seriously took up the sport six months earlier. Luke's road to the event started when he won a competition with Worsley Park to see how much a new golfer's game can improve over six months. Having been under the watchful eye of head professional and former British Open leader David Screeton, Luke's game was transformed from a handicap of 20 to play off an adjusted handicap of 14 on the day. The challenging championship course at Worsley Park proved a handful for many of the competitors. At the halfway point, Luke had clocked up just 13 Stableford points, leaving work to do for the second half of his round. A birdie on the 15th and a strong finish helped Luke to end the tournament with a very respectable 30 points overall, a score he could have only dreamt of six months earlier, leaving him 11th on the leaderboard and only one point away from the cutoff for the finals. Good, um, 30 points, so reasonably happy with that. That was my minimum goal I wanted when I started out. Uh, left a lot of putts out there today, just rolling over the edge of the hole. And that's probably what cost me because probably would have liked an extra few points, but I'm still up there. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm a totally different player now. My swing's totally different, and I'm a lot more confident when I'm playing. So it's been really good. So you're going to carry on the hard work? I am, yeah. I'm going to uh, come back next year with Benjamin. Some of the players have been, the, the occasion's got to them. Uh, we have Luke playing today in his inaugural trilby tour, in his, uh, his first trilby tour. And uh, I think he's felt the pressure, he's felt the pain. Um, it's one thing going around practicing, having a chat, you know, and, and, and having lessons and stuff. It's another thing when you're actually at the cold face or where the competition really is. And uh, I think he's found it, he's struggled. He's on the leaderboard at the moment, which is a major achievement because he started playing golf six months ago. Um, and, uh, let's face it, he's better than quite a lot of guys here today. But uh, yeah, I can see by his face, he's, he's, he's enjoyed the day, but he's, it's a hard day. My hometown, yeah. God's country, Lancashire, uh, born and bred. So I'm always very proud to come back here, and it's my favourite venue. Um, great, great banter with the, the local lads, and uh, my brother's playing here today, so that's that's quite proud. Proud moment. Uh, second year of hosting the event, um, another fa fantastic day. Um, great to see so many really passionate amateur golfers taking on the challenge at Worsley Park. So uh, yeah, we've seen the scores have come in, real mixed bag, but um, I think that's what you get with this, with the additional pressure that the Trilby Tour brings. The, um, the, the course has many challenges out there, whether it's the, the sort of water hazards, the, the sort of changes in elevation, um, changes of elevation or movement on the greens. It's, um, it certainly keeps the amateur golfer on its toes. And Luke, 30 points. How do you think it did? Uh, really great performance. Yeah, I mean, we, we've sort of followed Luke's story pretty closely here at the hotel and we've offered as much support as we can. Um, hopefully something which you can take sort of uh, many positives from, but uh, a really, really respectable score um, when you consider the, the sort of probably his first opportunity of, of testing himself in a challenge like this.